Atlantis. It's a play on words. It's a mixture of Atlantis and legend. So it's this imaginary place. And the music itself is quite cinematic. I think I'm trying to draw the emotion that you can get in a big film score and bring it into a, a, a small setting. New trio, Asaf Circus on drums, Yuri Golubev on bass. I needed musicians that were that looked a little bit larger than than straight ahead jazz. So uh, Yuri comes from a classical background. Asaf's got a lot of different uh, sides to his playing, but in, in my music is it's quite rocky. So to get guys who are very forward thinking, not so bogged down with the history of jazz, then I know that things could go on and it can take much more of a maybe cinematic, maybe classical, maybe a rocky uh, direction. So I, so I composed those tunes with those guys in mind and yet yeah, there's a lot of scope for them to bring in their own their own ideas, all on the same page and all working towards emotionally driven music. Um, the beauty about recording with guys like Asaf and, and Yuri is that there wasn't much rehearsal before. Uh, I just knew those guys worked together really well and I'd actually li listened to a lot of albums that they're on so it's sort of like me writing for people that uh, I know what they can do. It's almost like I knew they're playing so well that I knew where we could take the music. We recorded it in a studio which I go to quite often, Red Gables in South West London. I do want to say something about the, uh, the, the, um, the guy who mixed it and engineered it. It's a fantastic guy called Simon Changer. Um, it was great to have someone that, that, that thought outside of a, of a conventional jazz trio sound. I think that's what's so appealing about the sound is that it's, it's, um, it's got a very cinematic um, mood about it. So French horn was, was an instrument I wanted on it, just because it's just anthemic, anthemic lines that you, that you can get, get him to do that instantly transform maybe a composition into, into another world. So uh, yeah, French horn was Jim Rattigan. I've got Cor Anglais on one, English horn. And then I've got the vocals of Heidi Vogel on a couple. Uh, her voice is great, dark, rich, and uh, no, no words, just you know, just a vocal line. Um, it adds a lot of emotion to the first, first couple of tunes that she's on. Um, and then flute, yeah, we had all sorts of different things. Then there were four. I was, it's a bit of an ode to the Stranglers, actually. The, the thing is that I think they're always in their best form when there's four of them. So it was, it was almost a bit of a, uh, a celebration of the fact that they're a four-piece again.
Dance is a kind of Chopin-esque type, type um, nocturne or waltz. It's just got, it starts off as a very peaceful thing. Uh, it goes round and round and round, uh, almost becoming menacing. I think he likes it, yeah, so I hear. The artwork was done by Alvin Lowe, uh, as was the moving picture for the first piece, JJ, which you might see on YouTube. Clouds was just a dreamy tune that I wrote. Very, it's one of those tunes that comes together very quickly. I think it does reach out to different musical tastes. I think that's the beauty of composing now, is that your influences can be in, in, intertwined, there's, there's, it can come from all sorts of directions. And for this, you know, I was listening to a lot of 16th century, 15th century Palestrina, Bark, um, all sorts of different music that I'm hoping it's in here. I don't, I don't mind if it's not, but certainly for starting points, I was looking for all sorts of different places. You know. Man, I'm cleaning f***ing windows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so.